Hi, I'm Sandy and welcome to another day in Life with Sandy. Well, good afternoon. Today is Tuesday, April 18th. It is my son Danny's birthday today. He's 46 years old. Here's a picture of Danny and me. Forty-six. Just seems like I just had him. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Danny. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Love you. It's also Stephen Clark's birthday. So Stephen, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Stephen. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Well, I hope you have a great birthday because I know Danny's having a great birthday. I've already talked to him this morning. Called him exactly ten eleven. I told you I call my children on the day at the time they were born. Danny was born on a Monday though. He was a Monday's child. Um. Jim and I went to the gym this morning. I rode a little bit, five minutes longer on my um, recumbent bike. I'm up to 15 minutes now. I know, it's like, I have a hard time. I figured it out today how to put my foot in the strap of the pedal and keep it in. I've had such a problem with that. My foot keeps slipping out. And I finally, I don't know, you wouldn't think, how hard could it be, Sandy? It was hard. It was hard for me to figure out, but I figured it out today. So the whole 15 minutes, my foot stayed in the strap. So I did that for about 15 minutes. Um, I walked in the pool for about 45 minutes. Well, I, I take that back. I walked in the pool for about 30 minutes, but I swam for 15 minutes. So, and then um, Jim was a slow poke today. Oh my gosh. I got out of the pool, took my shower, got dressed, came out and sat in the chair waiting for Jim. And... Uh, he was still in the hot tub, though. I'll give him that. He was still in the hot tub. But I had to go to the bathroom. So I had to get out of the pool at that point. You, I'm not going to go pee in the pool. You know, jeez. So anyway, I went and took my shower. And then I waited, I would say, a good 25 minutes. I could have been doing something while I was waiting for Jim. Talked to Christy on the phone. But it was kind of funny because when we were going um, to go to the gym, we pass a golf course. Danny always golfs on his birthday. It could be snowing out. He's going to golf. It's his birthday. His uh, friends did, usually take the day off and golf with him, but they told him they're not going to waste a day off on a 43 degree, a 43 degree day. <laughs> they said, no, you're on your own, Dan. I'm not coming with you. So uh, he was golfing by himself. So when we were passing the golf course um, that he goes to, this is right by, next to the expressway, um, I told Jim, I said, there's Danny. And he says, well, no, and Jim says, oh, look, at, there's only one lone golfer out there. And I go, that's Danny. And he goes, that's not Danny. I go, that's Danny. This is the golf course he, shoot, he golfs at. He says, no, I don't think so. I go, yeah, this is the one that's right by his house. He golfs at this one. So I don't think that's him. So I said, so I, I called him. I said, Danny, are you at the golf course by your house? And he said, yeah. I said, did you just walk by the, the expressway? He said, yeah, I just finished on the fourth tee. I'm on my way to the fifth tee. I said, yeah, your dad and I just saw you. He said, yeah, I'm the only one out here. It's like a private course. He said, nobody's here but me. I said, like, you're a nut. I said, it's it's drizzling out. He says, well, you know, the walking, because the reason he walked it this time, he didn't even take his golf cart because he said that he wasn't going to have time today to get his walk in. And his favorite uh, ice cream place in Sinclair Shores, I forget what it's called, modern, modern something modern cone or something i don't know what it is but i guess this ice cream is better than cold stone it's just like perfect but they're doing some kind of renovations over the next week or two so today uh they're going to start tomorrow so today whatever's in the store is 50 percent off and so he said all the ice cream cakes are 50 percent off and i said well you ought to get an ice cream cake and he said well we're gonna have ice cream for you know after we go because they're going to red robin he's picking up the boys because shannon usually has the boys on mondays and tuesdays um she said no i'm picking the boys up we're going to go to red robin's for dinner and he says, and we usually get an Oreo shake, and then we go to this modern, I forget the name of it. But anyway, we go there for ice cream afterwards. So I, I'm not going to have cake. And I go, it's an ice cream cake. It means it's in the freezer. If it's 50% off, you could buy it and have it on another day. He says, that's why you're my mother. You're so smart. He says, you know, I might even buy two cakes. 
I says for 50% off, it's like buy one, get one free. So he says, yeah, if you think of it that way. So I don't know what he's going to do. But, um, and then like I'm picking, I told you, I, I told you, did I tell you? I'm here waiting to pick up Alyssa. She's going to have to find another ride home tomorrow because uh, Jim's going, has an appointment and he wanted me to go with him. Um, he wants to get his bunion removed. So we want to get that done pretty quick because we want to go to, um, I was going to say the Grand Canyon. I've already been to the Grand Canyon. Mount Rushmore. And last summer it was me that couldn't walk. And so we don't want it to be him this summer that can't walk. So um, there's some kind of treatment that they do that's not as uh, aggressive or invasive. And uh, you're supposed to have a complete recovery within six weeks. And that you're able to walk with a boot within three days, I think he said. But he wasn't sure. So that's why he wanted me to go with him. So I, told, I have to tell Alyssa that she's going to have to find somebody else to give her a ride. Uh, the girl, I thought it was because she was sick yesterday why she didn't uh, come. It wasn't here to pick her up. No, last Friday when she was driving home, she hit a deer and it demolished her car. And she doesn't have enough money to get her car fixed. So uh, until she has some money saved up to get her car fixed, she she's taking the bus. I don't think Alyssa would even know which bus to get on. To be honest with you, I don't think Chris... I know Alyssa's never taken the bus from here. I don't think she's ever taken the bus ever. Because when she was in middle school, she was able to walk home because she lived close. And when she was in elementary school, I picked her up every day. After I got off work, I went and picked her up. At first, I would pick Sophia up from the daycare. And then Sophia and I would go over and pick up Alyssa from the school. And then they'd go back to the house. And then when their parents got off of work, they'd come and pick them up. Well, that was years ago, obviously. Alyssa's in high school. Sophia's in middle school almost in high school she's in the seventh grade so it's, I just remember bringing her I still have like on the dash here when I get done talking I'll turn you around and I'll show you well no here I'll show you well there's the reindeer let me get you a little closer to it there you go used to have a red nose and he used to have a red collar no more this is the deer little reindeer that Sophia got me when she was in preschool her three-year-old preschool she's gonna be 13 on June, 8, uh, June 18th. She's going to be 13 years old. It's like, oh my gosh. And I've had this taped up here forever since then. It's pretty faded. Rudolph had a red nose at one point. <laughs> it's no longer red. It's faded with the, uh, with the aging of it. But um, I don't know what I'm going to have to eat today. I'm not going to show you my food today. I'm just, um, I'm, not, I'm not hungry today for some reason. Tomorrow, um, one of the reasons I want to eat kind of light today is this is my new way of learning how to my body cues type of thing is tomorrow um we're doing our sibling dinner mary hurt her shoulder and uh she's going for therapy so because we, we were supposed to go yesterday but um she has therapy on mondays and wednesdays but for some reason they changed her therapy this week to mondays and friday so um she said could we just go to dinner tomorrow instead of next wednesday or next week so i said yeah well, that's no big deal we'll, we'll go today or tomorrow so I want to eat kind of light today and then I'm going to eat light tomorrow so um, we'll see how that goes I, I like the fact that I lost 2.2 pounds that was pretty good and I, I like the fact that I've lost all that weight during Lent so I really think I'm back on track it's slow it's really slow coming off but uh, it's coming off finally finally it's been a while since it uh, that I had it coming off but now I think I I really do believe I've got it back on my a handle on the situation that I know what I'm doing and uh, so sometimes I'm going to show you my food sometimes I'm not I'm not going to make an excuse why I'm not or whatever I'm just gonna if I show you my food I show you my food if I don't I don't it's just I'm going to be a rebel she's a rebel and she'll never be any good she's a rebel and you never 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 <laughs> just because she doesn't get I thought that was a hungry Howie's pickup truck. I'm thinking, what are you waiting for? No, it's a it's a student driver truck. But see now she texted me and she said, You are coming, and I said yes, and the buses are already leaving and no Alyssa. So I don't know what the deal is. I don't know. I know that uh so she doesn't watch my channel, so I can tell you. Shh, it's a secret between us. Don't tell her that I told you that she likes this one boy. 
And so she was going to ask him if he wanted to snap with her. And so I said, oh, okay. I guess that means Snapchat. <laughs> I'm old. I'm, I'm assuming that's what it is. So when I told Jim, I said, oh, yeah, she's, she found a boy that she likes and she's going to ask him to snap with her. And he said, nap with her. And I said, no, not nap with her, snap with her. And he says, oh, what's that? And I said, well, I don't know, but I'm thinking that he wants, she wants to be a Snapchat person, like a Twitter follower or something. But I don't know where she went. I might have to text her now. Anyway, that's going to do it. I'm going to have to text her to see what's going on. Make sure she remembers I'm here. So, uh, anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thank you.